Hello, everybody. Welcome to this lovely, lovely day here. I'm up in Scotland at the Scout Scotland headquarters. My name is Melanie Harwood, and I am the founder and creator of Start Be Handwriting, and I'm also the co-founder of Harwood Education. And with me here today is Denise Meisner. Denise is my business partner and co-founder in Harwood Education. And Denise is an occupational therapist and she's an autism specialist. Now, I'm going to give you all some background. Your teachers over the past few weeks and months have been training up to become certified handwriting specialist teachers. And what they are now trained to do and have become specialist in is in assessing handwriting using the handwriting match fit assessment toolkit. Now, some of you will know that your children have been already been assessed and some of you, your children are going to be assessed. If your child was here in the United Kingdom with Denise and I, what would happen is a child would be assessed doing that handwriting match fit assessment. And if you went to a private agency like an occupational therapist like Denise or a specialist uh, SLT edu educator here in the UK or um, somebody that is like a, an SEN specialist that is trained with us, they would charge you £1,800 for that handwriting match fit assessment and the resulting personal handwriting strategy. Now, you are all very, very lucky because your school has put forward the teachers to do this training. And Denise Meiser and I have agreed to deliver this training to all of the teachers in the school. I think more than 200 teachers have been working on this for the last few weeks. And we've done this at no charge for your school as a gift to your school, because we've obviously worked with your school before. Now, this makes your teachers at your school, these handwriting specialist teachers, they are the very first in all of the Middle East, and they are some of the very first in the world. Those teachers, we have a handful of certified handwriting specialist teachers here in the United Kingdom, and a few in America, but your teachers are the first in the Middle East, the first in the United Arab Emirates to be certified handwriting specialist teachers. And their level of understanding and knowledge of what they are looking for is not to test if a child is passing or failing. It is to assess a child's handwriting and to see if there are any potential barriers that may affect that child's learning in the future. And they are trained to now negate those potential barriers. So please, when you see uh, the report that comes back about your child's handwriting match fit assessment, we've asked the teachers not to include specific letters that maybe your child hasn't been able to complete in that assessment and particular patterns that they may not have completed according to our outline. Please work with the teachers, support the teachers, because they are going to be delivering a groundbreaking handwriting scheme to your children. We developed something called mini bees and mini yoga. And the reason we did that was because after assessing thousands of children here in the United Kingdom, we found that one of the major barriers to handwriting and success with handwriting was fine and gross motor skills and physical core stamina. Now, Denise Meisner will tell you from an occupational therapist's point of view, why these fine and gross motor skills are so important and why your children are going to be working through mini bees and mini yoga um, online. It's going to be an online program that your teachers have been given access to and your school is subscribing to as part of the Start B handwriting scheme delivery. So Denise, I'm going to let you explain more about fine and gross motor skills and how mini bees is what the pupils are going to be working through to prepare them for Start Me Handwriting. Hello, and I am a mother of a child with autism who is actually turning 21 pretty soon. And 
I have seen firsthand the incredible importance of handwriting, not just for getting through a test exam or an essay, but to really give an expression of personality, to be able to write lists of things that they've accomplished or that they've researched because they want to reduce anxiety or at least be able to do anything that they want on paper without having to plug in or have access to internet or anything like that. If they wanna make a personal note to stand out from the crowd or you know, now that we're social distancing or physical distancing, it's much more exciting to receive a handwritten note in the mail perhaps. And the importance of handwriting goes way beyond just what people think, which a lot of people think it's an old fashioned, out of date mechanism, but really it's super important as a bridge to go from where you are now to where you wanna be. And it also gives people a chance to create on paper and then produce on the computer. So for example, Steve Jobs, he would spend 30 hours producing on paper and then he would then go onto the computer and then create his PowerPoints that he would use for those stage presentations. So for fine and gross motor skills, we need to start with the big muscles and the big muscles are in the shoulder, in your core, and being able to also incorporate your muscles of visual tracking, visual perception, gauging how much space is between the left side of the page, the right side of the page, and then the act of actually going from left to right across the page when you're writing involves both sides of the brain. So handwriting involves so many parts of your brain and your body and your muscles, and this is where mini bees and mini yoga really come in because they work on all of this and they do it with a child learning from a slightly older youth hannah jane who has gone you know through her whole life pretty much so far with presenting the handwriting classes and now she's mentoring a young child arvin and they are doing activities that you can do in your home with items that you have around the house and so it's very affordable, it's easy, it's fun, and it takes the pressure off of you as a parent because you get to have Hannah Jane be the one delivering the lessons and the activities. So for me, the handwriting process has unlocked my child's ability to communicate, to relieve his anxiety, to let us know what he wants for Christmas, <laughs> starting December 26th and going throughout the year. And so there's just many, many ways and many important uses of handwriting. I remember seeing on the TV the other day on a food show, a restaurant that had two kitchens and then a restaurant area in the middle. One kitchen had the mother's traditional recipes and equipment. And then the other half of the restaurant had her son's Michelin star, award-winning recipes, equipment, style, technique, and people could use and order both food items. And so it's kind of like that. We're using traditional handwriting and we're applying it to and incorporating it with the more technical parts because not only do fine motor skills help with handwriting, they also help with keyboarding. And if there's anything you can do to make life easier for your child, it's being able to write, type, and whatever frustration we can get rid of during their day, it makes them freer to do more creative and critical thinking activities. Thank you, Denise. Now, what some of us sometimes don't realize is we think that handwriting is no longer necessary. And we think that it's not really important. If you can't write, it affects your, it impacts on your, on your confidence, on your future prospects in life. Now, we know that your children can all write. We've seen those assessments. We've been working on those deep dives. We've done many hours of deep dives with your, with your pupils, with your teachers. And we've looked at the work that has been coming through. And I said before in our previous little video that you have the equivalent of a Ferrari already. 
your teachers are now like mechanics. They are like very specialist mechanics like Umberto Giannini of Ferrari. And they are using tools, special ratchets and special spanners so that you ensure that that Ferrari purrs across the finish line. Because once a child learns to write, handwriting is a mechanical skill. It is like when you first learn to drive a car and you have to change the gears and put the clutch in and, and have the keys in and, and navigate the steering wheel. If you, when you first start out, you think, how am I ever going to do this? But once you've mastered the mechanics of turning that car on and getting those gears and the stick shift working and looking left, right and not killing yourself or driving into a wall, that's the same as handwriting. Once you master the mechanics of handwriting, you can then, you can be talking to your partner while you're driving. You can be thinking, you can be singing, you can be dancing. Handwriting is the same. It is a life skill. It's like riding a bicycle. Once you've learned to write, anything can happen. And it prepares you for computational thinking. But more about that later. We'll get on to computational thinking. There's something I want you all to know. When we started out doing these assessments here in the United Kingdom, when I first developed the handwriting match with assessment toolkit, the research had always told us years before that one in 10 had something called hypermobility. And our research, when we, re when we did these assessments with thousands of children, didn't matter where they were from, what age they were, we found that 99% of the public have a, have a level of hypermobility. You are very rare if you do not have hypermobility. But some people are very hypermobile. They are the individuals that are able to do gymnastics and bend their legs behind their ears when they do yoga or do the downward dog and all those other crazy yoga moves that I could just never ever master. So please, when your teachers tell you your child has got hypermobility level one or four or six, we will explain that to you in more detail when we come through. Denise Meisner and I are going to be coming to Dubai to meet all of you and to give you a, a talk I don't want to call it a lecture. We're going to give you a presentation all about our experience and why we created the handwriting specialist teacher training, what happens in that handwriting match fit assessment and what we take from it, how we negate the barriers that some children have and how we can see what they are from that assessment and how we can ensure we work through them in the next year over year, two years, because we will then re- um, assess your pupils in the next year to see what their follow-on data is. Have they improved? What do we need to work on? Your teachers are incredible. You are very, very lucky parents. If, if I could have sent my child to your school, your, that's where I would have sent my child. Because you have teachers that are so dedicated and so focused on ensuring your children receive the best education ever. I've never ever come across such dedication. It's very rare. You are incredibly lucky. And these assessments have been done or going to be continued to be done. And you will get a little note back explaining that your child has done the handwriting match fit assessment, that they will be working through mini bees. Every single child in the school is going to be doing 10 weeks of mini bees. Every day you're going to do 30 minutes of mini bees. And then every day you're going to be doing some mini yoga. And that is all to develop fine and gross motor skills, strong rotator cuffs in the shoulders, strong core stamina, good muscles in the back, and we're going to make sure that your children are ready because when they start working through the Start B handwriting program, magic starts to happen. So Start B is a handwriting scheme and it, the little girl that presents all of the lessons is my daughter, Hannah Jane. She started filming these lessons when she was four years old and she's filmed more than 800 lessons. So 
We can't wait to meet you all and to show you the correct tools, the best pencils that we recommend and why and explain hypermobility. Let me just give you one quick thing about hypermobility, folks. It's like a joint is here in, in a cuff, but what happens is, is that joint overstretches and it can cause damage to the ligaments and the muscles. So we want you to know that if your child is a hypermobility four to a six, that please be very protective of their um, wrists, ankles, lower backs, protect those muscles, make sure that the ligaments and the muscles are nice and strong. And that's why we're doing mini yoga and mini bees to get them all prepared. And then when we come through, we're gonna show you the correct pencils for them to use and the correct rulers and the exercises that they're going to be working on at school. Please support the teachers. Please don't go and do lowercase letter exercises at home and uppercase letter exercises at home that your teachers have not sanctioned. Your teachers are going to be delivering this program and the reason is to develop and deliver the very best, confident, legible, fluent handwriters that this planet has ever seen because good writers are good leaders, okay? So from me, Melanie Harwood, and from Denise Meisner, we look forward to seeing you all and to making sure that you support your teachers. And I hope you're all gonna watch the live virtual awards ceremony that we're going to be bringing to you on the 19th of January. We've got some cracking speakers that are going to be honoring your teachers and the teachers around the world that have been certified handwriting specialist teachers. Very exciting. Thank you very, very much. We'll see you all on the other side. Bye-bye.